Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day. And today's problem is recursive sequence and it is an easy level problem. So the problem says that we have been given a function which has some particular definition and we have to find f of n. Right. So how they have defined the function we will discuss and they have also asked us to return the answer modulo this particular value that is 10 is power 9 plus 7. Right. So the function f of n is basically 1 plus 2 times 3 plus 4 times 5 times 6 plus 7, 8, 9, 10. These are all in multiplication. Let me verify this. Yep. So this is how the function goes and so on. So basically as you can see, let us consider a pointer p or a value p which basically points to certain elements. So when initially the value of p is 1, what happens is you need to consider for the first element, let us say this is the first element, you need to consider the first one numbers starting from p is equal to 1. Then your value of p becomes 2 and when you discuss the second element, second element, you have to consider two numbers starting from p, right. Now your p will become 4. Right. So now for the third element, you have to consider three numbers starting from p is equal to 4 and then your p becomes 7. Now for the fourth element, you have to consider four numbers starting from p is equal to 7. This is how you can generally think about this particular problem. So the problem is not very difficult. It's just about uh, a specific pattern and how to make groups. You can easily make these groups based on what element it is we have discussed for the nth element that means you will have to take n numbers you will have to take n numbers starting from p right where p will be your current number so the value of p will keep on incrementing whenever you are going through the series right this p is always going to change and then you are going to consider the nth element n elements for the nth number right so this is how you can particularly solve this problem since the value of n is only up to 1000 you can simply form a n square loop wherein you can write both of the for loops one inside each other and it will still work. So now let us have a look at the code the problem wasn't very difficult itself. So you can see I have initialized my modular value I have initialized p with 1 and I have initialized my answer with 0 right all of the values are long long to avoid any overflow. Now what I do is I have a simple for loop which is going to show which element is it? So you can see my i is going from 1 to n, right? It is less than n plus 1, that means it is from i to n both included. Now for the current value or the current uh, item, I have initialized my value with 1. Now I form a simple for loop starting from j till less than i. So basically I am considering i elements, right? If I make a for loop starting from 0 less than i, that means this for loop will run i times, right? So each time what I am doing is I have the current value p, I am taking it, I am multiplying it with the value and take, then taking its mod. Then I am also using a post increment operator that means after utilizing the current value of p, p is going to get incremented, right. This is how I am going to get the i elements since this loop is going to run i times, I am going to get i elements starting from the original value of p, right. And now p will be ready for the next element or for the next term in the series. Right. Now when, when I get this particular value, I just have to add it to my answer uh, variable and that will be it for this particular video. At the end you can clearly see, I can just return simply return my answer value. This would be the final solution. Let me just first quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works and the solution is absolutely correct. So you can see this passes all the test cases and this solution is correct. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video. And don't forget to share thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this video really really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So that is it for today. Till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye bye.